Hi, all of first grade. Happy Tuesday and welcome to the reading room. Thanks for coming. So um, if you haven't already, I wanted you to click that small short video that's in the in my reading room right here. If you haven't done that, click it real quick. It's it's less than a minute. It's a nice song and then come back to me. If you did that already, awesome. So it was a short song about problem and solution. Now, problem we've talked about before. Everyone knows the word problem. It's what's the matter, what happened, like what needs to be fixed, right? And that happens in a lot of stories. There's a problem. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, but what needs to get fixed? Like the song was singing, the problem in the story is what needs to get fixed. There's something to matter, we gotta, there's, it's gotta change. Solution is the big word for saying how it gets fixed. How does the problem get better? How does the character handle that problem and how does it change? How, how does it get fixed is what the solution we're looking for. So the solution in the story is how it gets fixed. Can you say solution? Solution, right? That's a big word for how it gets fixed. Now, sometimes in stories, there's a problem and it's quickly fixed. There's a problem the whole story and then it's clearly fixed. Sometimes in stories, the problem, there's a problem. And sometimes they turns out that that problem wasn't so much of a big deal. And that's kind of how it's fixed. The character realizes that wasn't a problem to begin with. They were making a big deal of nothing. Okay, so we're gonna be on the lookout for the problem and how it's fixed. Other words called solution. Now, yesterday we read about the monster's monster. Remember, he was like, thank you, right? They had a problem. Those little, those little, those little monsters wanted to create a big, bad monster. But their problem wasn't really solved. It was just they realized they didn't need to be so mean all the time, right? They created this monster who was having a great time enjoying life without being mean and miserable. So since we're on the monster kind of train here, I wanted to read The Monster Who Lost His Me. This is one of my favorites. It's written by Tiffany Haber and illustrated by Kirsty Edmonds. Um, here, we're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of characters kind of throughout the story, um, but the one main one, the one we're gonna get to know the most, right? Who has feelings and he's gonna have, he's gonna run into a problem is this one right here. We'll figure out his name once we start reading, okay? So we're gonna read to find out what happens, what's the problem here? And maybe there's a solution. Maybe his problem gets fixed. So the monster who lost his me. Okay. Let's see? Oh, there's a lot of them. Looks like he's looking for something. Okay. Ooh, we're all about monsters. Here we go. Monsters are a spooky bunch, a scary, hairy group. They run in packs, leave giant tracks, and dine on eyeball soup. Eyeball soup? Ooh. M, so they're spelling out the word monster. M is for mean. Yeah, you gotta be mean to be a monster. O is for observant. That means you're on the lookout. N is for noisy. S is for super strong, yeah. T is for tough to please. E is for envious, that means kind of like jealous. R is for remarkable, pretty amazing. A monster is all of these. So they spelled out the word monster and they gave kind of like a, to, they described each letter. Here comes the problem. But one day, a monster's capital M went missing, gone without a trace. And every M is custom made, the kind you can't replace. Look, he can't find his M. That means he can't find his mean. How is he gonna do that? So now he's just, the monster, and the teasing never ends. Not only has he lost his mean, he lost his monster friends. Just because he's not mean anymore, now they're like, Psh, you're not a monster, you're just monster, right? And he's like, oh, come on, guys. He should be friends with uh, that Frankenstein yesterday who said, thank you. Boom, boom, crunch, crunch. The monster sits alone for lunch. We got a problem here, right? Right away, they told us. He can't find his M, and look what's happening. He's, he's, he's so upset by it. Boo hoo, sigh, sigh, the omster's sad and starts to cry. Oh, there's his eyeball soup, ugh. But he drinks milk? Interesting. 
I'm nothing since I lost my mean, he sobs and stew. I've got to find that M or else it's bye bye monster crew. Oh, keep out. Also, if you notice the setting, it's kind of been in different places. It's been in a lunchroom. It's been, remember, that's where the story takes place, and it's been outside in the woods. So it's kind of like just in this monster town is kind of where it's all happening. The onster tears through all his sheets and peeks beneath his bed, explores around the playground, and picks apart his shed. He empties every garbage can and all of monster wood. Oh, that's what the town's called, monster wood. Just like Riverside, this is called monster wood. He even checks the engine under every monster's hood. Okay, so we don't have a solution yet, right? The problem is still there. The problem has not been fixed yet. He cannot find his M, his meanness. Nothing, nada, not a trace. Oh, look at his face. He hangs his hairy head. Without my M, I'm not myself. I'm someone else instead. Oh, yikes. He can't be mean to human kids, so why not help with chores? Sweeping, heaping, light housekeeping, organizing chores. So if he can't be mean, right? He's like, might as well help people, right? Because I no longer am mean anymore. I lost my M. He joins in all their soccer games and rules at basketball. He doesn't seem to miss that missing M so much at all. Oh, wait a second. Is that solution creeping up on us? Is that problem kind of getting fixed? Look at this. He's pretty happy here, right? He's pretty happy not being so mean, and he's like, wait a second, these kids are kind of fun. Forget about the monsters. Look at these kids, right? He doesn't seem to miss that missing M so much at all. Look at him. Okay, Onster. I'm having tons of fun, he laughs, returning from a swim, but then he hears some other monsters making fun of him. Oh, that problem came back again. The Onster feels embarrassed. He sees their point of view. I really need to stop this stuff and do what monsters do. Oh, so he was having a good time being nice and all with the kids, but he's like, oh, I got to do what monsters do. Why? Don't listen to the monster. Don't listen to them. Maybe I'll pretend I'm mean. I bet it's not that hard. Look, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to tear up all those roses. Yeah, I'm going to be mean. Perhaps I'll pull the flowers out of Mrs. Power's yard. But look what he does instead. He stares at all the roses in their stunning shade of red but just can't bear to harm them, so he waters them instead. He's not mean anymore. He can't do it. The Onster thinks, hmm, oh, I'll throw some eggs at Mr. Lander's van, but winds up cooking brunch for the whole entire Lander clan. Right? Don't waste them. Cook with them. Look how happy he is. I'm way too nice without my M. Maybe monster days are through. I just don't fit in monster wood. I'm not sure what to do. Hmm. So he still thinks he has a problem, but to me, he's better off not being mean, right? That could be the solution. He sadly heads on home again with teardrops in his eyes. He swings his front door open and is greeted with surprise. Oh, and they look a O N S T R monster. Oh, look how happy he is. And look, those aren't monsters. Those are all kids. Ah. A party in his honor, right, for me? The Onster's eyes grow wide. His name and picture cover every empty space inside. You're the coolest Onster in all the world. Oh, oh, maybe when he was helping everybody and making them feel good, they decided to throw him a party. Oh, I'm not a monster after all, the Onster comprehends. That means understands. I may have lost my M, but then I found amazing friends. Aww. Boom, boom, pow, pow. The answer waves and takes a bow. Let's have three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. He's happier in every way. Aww. Now, look. The problem at first, right? What was that problem? He lost his M. He lost his mean. Did he find it? No, he didn't find it. Instead... He found a better way to live, right? Instead of being so angry all the time, his solution was how he fixed it. He realized there's more to life than being a monster and being mean, right? He goes, I'm not a monster after all. I may have lost my M, but then I found amazing friends. He was so much happier to find friends who actually like 
enjoy being around him instead of just being raw or mean, right? So the problem, he couldn't find the M, right? And he was getting picked on. But then he realized his solution, how he fixed that problem, he didn't need those monsters. They only cared about being mean. He found good friends that made each other both happy, right? They filled each other's buckets all the time. It was awesome. I love Onster. I usually have that. Oh, I should maybe draw him and put him up there. But I love Onster. He's one of my favorite monsters. All right. So today, when you're reading, right, make sure you go into Raz Kids and you're reading those books on your level, right? Try to find that problem in your story when you're reading, right? Maybe there is a problem. Maybe it's quickly fixed. The solution happens really quickly. Or maybe it kind of changes, all right? And they realize that wasn't a problem after all. It was almost a good thing that he lost his M, right? His life got so much better. Okay. Oh, and also, don't forget our reading friends, right? They're always there to help you. And you have that bookmark too if you forget them. Okay. Have a great day. Make sure you do all the rest of the work for all the other teachers. Goodbye.